Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you I came out there pushing this word with all truth and sincerity. And to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel. And it's the brother Kwara Abad from the gym at Houston camp. I just want to go into a quick lesson, man. Uh, <laughs> snuck out the job or whatever. Um, come, uh, come get it in. Come get the work in, man. But I want to, what I want to speak on, um, you know, in this lesson, and Lord willing to be edifying, you know, as well as comforting. But um, hey, we know that we coming into a time of trouble. You know, the Lord had warned us about it. He told us to go be a time like never before. You see, um, hey, we was, we was also warned uh, in Acts fourteen. In 22, it says uh, that through much tribulation, we uh, will inherit the kingdom. So it ain't going to be an easy ride. But the comforting thing is to know that we ain't going to be alone on this walk, man. As we go down a narrow path that lead up to the kingdom, we have help. You see, we have comfort, man. We have hope. You know, hey, think about when all hell break loose, these people in the world who don't know you have a shot. Right. When the famine come, they ain't going to have the idea that that ravens could come and feed them you see they ain't gonna trust or hope in the miracles of the law but we will hey like you how i say in john 16 he said in the world we shall have tribulation but in him we shall have peace man you know so i just want to go through a few scriptures you know just showing hey, the lord with us he will assist us you know lord willing on this journey man hey so eventually we could meet him at the end of all this hey forever be with the lord but let me get it real quick this second is just um uh, seven and six it says there was also another thing a city is built and set upon a broad field and full of all good things and this city is talking about what the kingdom of heaven man hey then you have what said in john 14 he go to prepare a place for us so this is talking about the kingdom which is the israelite's rulership and it says the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall it's easy to fall <laughs> dangerous right it says like as if there were a fire on the right hand and a water on the deep and a on the left a deep water so you got fire on the right deep water on the left now what is that symbolic for that's symbolic for all the trials we will have to uh endure right for all the uh the tests and the tribulation that we're gonna have to go through in order to get to the kingdom right fire and water could be our day-to-day troubles uh financial uh infirmities uh, shit legal problems of uh, uh, family problems you know but also the different tests as far as the outward temptation man everything whatever it is we have we're gonna have to go through the six troubles and the seventh all on this narrow path to the kingdom whatever it is whatever obstacle it is man you know but uh so that's what we gotta go through through ain't, ain't no other way around can't dig a hole can't parachute into it it's only one way you know it says uh and only one path between them both even between a fire and a water so small that there could but one man go there at once if this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance if he never shall pass the danger set before it how shall he receive this inheritance man so that's I wanted to start with that just to show. Look, we gonna have to go through it regardless. Hey, Yahweh Shah said himself, man, the servant ain't greater than the master. Look what the Lord had to go through being the master. So us knowing that hey, we can't get around it. Now, what? What's the only thing left? Putting our trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that they are gonna protect us through. Hey, just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when it came down for them to get thrown into the fiery furnace. Because they didn't want to bow down and worship Nebuchadnezzar's statue. What they told him, they said, look, Nebuchadnezzar, we ain't worried about nothing you talking about. You, you know, we, we ain't going to bow down and worship your statue. You know, our power whom we serve, he going to come save us up out of here. And if not, if we got to die, we still ain't going to worship it. But in all that, when they got thrown into that fire, <laughs> like symbolic, we walking through that fire. When they got thrown into the fire, who was there to help them? Yahweh Shai, man. You see, Yahweh Shai was there to help them. Right? You know, matter of fact, let me let me get that real quick. Um, what that is in Daniel 3. 
Since we talking on how the log always be there for us, this Daniel 3. And I'm going to get straight to the point. It's a lock. I got to get back in. I know they're like, what is man that? Let me get straight to the point. So this is after they threw them in a the fire, right? So this is Daniel 3. And, um... All right, here we go. In 23, it says, And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said to him, The king, true, O king. He said, Lo, I see four men. Right, I see four men loose in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of the most high, man. So look, hey, even when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and them was going through their troubles, Yahweh was there to help them. Now, one would say, Well, sh like you got a lot of Jake and all the time. So you believe a man and then go crack the sky and come help you. Yes, we believe it. Remember, Yahweh Shah wasn't literally physically on the scene as himself in the time of Daniel. But guess what? He still helped them. He still helped Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now, he's not physically, literally here, but we have the faith that he's going to help us. Whether it's sending angels to help us through Jacob's trouble, divine intervention, or the day that he make his uh, second coming. Right? Whatever it is, we have we got to have that faith that the Lord going to get us through all this, man. You see? Through that fire and the water. Let's let's uh, snag this in Isaiah. This is Isaiah 40, I believe it's 43 or 44. I always get them mixed up, messed up, mixed up. This is, okay, it's Isaiah 43. It's Isaiah 43, and I'm going to start at 2. It says, when thou passest through the waters, right, the, the trials, tribulation, like Yahweh Shai said, when the rain descended and the floods came and beat upon that house, it didn't fall. Right? Which is symbolic for the things we're going to have to go through. So the Lord is saying right here, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. The Lord going to be with us. And when Peter was walking on the water, right, and fell, who was that? Who was that to pick him up? Yahweh Shai. When the disciples was in a boat and the boat was flooded. And they were scared, and Yahweh Shai was asleep at the back of the boat. They went to Yahweh Shai, and what he did, he stopped the wind. He stopped the rain, man. The Lord over these elements, the Lord over everybody, he over actions, people, actions, and, and everything. It's an easy thing for the Lord to save us in that day. Hey, like Pilate, well, like Yahweh Shai told Pilate, when Pilate told Yahweh Shai that he had the power to crucify him and let him go, Yahweh Shai said, you ain't got no power at all against me except it was given you from above. <laughs> you see so our lord gonna be guidance through everything man you know but uh, it says when thou pass through the waters i will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee and thou when thou walkest through the fire thou shall not be burnt and look it's given the same similar tools as we read in second Ezra seven through this narrow path is gonna be waters and fire which is symbolic once again for the things we gotta go through well, look, the Lord is saying right here, he going to be with us through these waters and fires, man, through all the troubles. Let me read it again. When thou pass through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. And we got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego for that example. You see, they wasn't burnt, they wasn't hurt, but they got through it. You know? The same thing we hoping for, man, to get through it, to get through it, endure through it. Like Yahweh Shai said, uh, I pray that you take them not out of the world, but keep them from evil, right? We ain't, paying we ain't praying for an easier path. We praying that the Lord give us the strength to endure, you see, to endure the, the course that he got each and every one of our lives, man, um, or our lives, you know, to endure the affliction that we got to catch in our lives, you know, to ultimately um, to get through it, man, hey, make it to that end. You see, but the point is, man, look, the Lord going to be with us, man. Lord willing. Let's get this real quick. Revelation 3 and 10. It says, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, because thou has kept the word of my patience. So if we continue to believe through the suffering, if we continue to believe through the tortures, we got to go through the, through the demonization, even unto death. Right? The Lord said this, because thou has kept the word of my patience. 
I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And the right? hour of temptation is when the so-called white man, Esau Edom, right? When he uh, implement his market of beasts, which is the RFID microchip. You know, the, the radio frequency identification chip, that's the mark of the beast. And hey, you already see how he's setting it up. All right? Like the scripture saying, Revelation uh, 13. And he calls of all. You know? He gonna call you how? He gonna take away your 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 necessities so you gonna have to come to his government for it. But in order to get it, you gotta get that chip. And that's when everybody gonna be tried, man. But we got to hope in that day, hey, the Lord put a certain spirit on us, right? To hey, take the death rather rather uh, than taking that chip, man. Rather than taking that mark of the beast, you see? Hey, but at the end of the day, man, we look, we just got to hey, pray and hope that the Lord keep us and preserve us through all what we about to go through. Because we can't do it ourselves, man. Just like he kept uh, the three um, holy children, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they was thrown up in there, and that was their hour of temptation. Well, Lord willing, the Lord be here uh, with us too, man. Let me get this and I end it. You know, again, like your Howard shot when you're here, people, he said, What? Your faith made you whole. We have to believe it, man. Whatever situation we in, right? Hey, is anything too hard for the Lord? No, man. Let's end it off on this, though, because your Howard shot told us something. It's Matthew um, 28. And I'm going to start at 18. And Yahweh came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So look, if we serving the, the Lord Yahweh and all power is given unto him, then hold on. <laughs> Why should we be tripping? The power we serve control everything. And if we do what we got to do to please him, then what? He on our side. The people in the world should be worried, man. The people in the world should be worried. We we serving a power that's going to bring all this trouble. Our faith should be strengthened. But he says, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son and of the Holy Spirit, which we doing now. It's the point. And teaching them to observe all things and whatsoever I have commanded you. It's the point. And lo, I am with you always even until the end of the world what world esau world man so yahweh shot with us until esau get destroyed because when esau get destroyed the lord gonna be able to save us up out of here and like the scripture says then uh shall we ever be with the lord well for comfort one another with these words man you see so look hey we hey the lord promise he gonna be with us we just gotta pray that they keep the spirit upon us to keep keep doing their work, man. But Lord willing, this lesson was that a fun. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Hakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you. I came out there pushing his word with all truth and sincerity. And uh, to all you believers out there who believe in on the gospel, keep fighting, keep pushing. Hey, with that, Shalom.